When a custom segmentation is performed, it often doesn't allow for clear mathematical rules and we cannot apply rules specified in the configuration. At this point we need to perform the manual segmentation of the original walls. The manual segmentation is performed starting directly from the original unsegmentated element. First, we need to convert a wall into Revit parts. Next, we define a division line. Drawing such division line, we can very precisely determine where a segmentation should occur. Once manual segmentation is complete, the split command can be used to convert the parts into the precast assemblies. Now on this floor we have a mixture of original walls and parts we have just created manually. If the original wall is selected instead of the manually created parts, the manual segmentation is overridden and the wall is segmentated according to the configuration settings. That is why it is important to make sure the original element is not selected, but only parts. If one part is still larger, heavier, etc. than the specification indicated in the configuration settings, it will be further divided respecting those rules. Let's see the outcome of the segmentation in this case. Another way we can control the segmentation of elements is by a manual adjustment of parts after the segmentation. In this case we select a part and edit a position of a division line. This can be done very precisely too. Once the part is updated, the entire assembly and connections, lifters and bushings are updated as well. We can also manually adjust a position or a type of individual elements within an assembly. In this case, I'm changing a position of one of the bushings. In the similar way, we can update lifters and connections within a precast assembly.